Where I left, last left off, um, we were trying to obtain 20 of Reko's coins. Because now there's this plot going on of Alice and Reko reconciling. And Reko's, um, I don't, like, he's the complete stranger to me now, is going to change. And um, Reko and Alice are going to act like brother and sister again. Which is this big death flag. It makes either Reko or Alice a big target for a death because you want to make them make them all make up and love each other again and then kill one of them. Um, so, but that's... That's just a guess. Um, my guesses in this game so far haven't been that good. Um, something I noticed is that there's somewhat of a lack of discussion going on as to how law enforcement has or has not found them yet. Um, and knowing that they're missing, um, what effect that's having on the outside world. Um, you would think that that would come up in, in, in games like this where they, you know, say like, Jin, I'm sure that somebody will come and save us eventually or something like that. But so far they haven't really brought that matter up. They've all like, assumed already that it was their responsibility to try to find a way out. Um, and I've kind of like, like automatically ruled out the possibility of help from the outside. Anyway, our hallucination level is at 40 because I messed up and said, what if I were in the same situation? Uh, we got a clear chip. 90 me tokens. Well, don't, can we tell how many, don't we, are we supposed to have 10 Qtaro tokens? Oh, it's going to show me that. 10 Qtaro tokens. Okay. Exploring comes first. Might find something besides attractions. Tar and Ranger are having a dispute in the middle of the lobby. You got up a screw wooden with me. Kyotaro, what's the matter? Sorry, this Ranger guy just said we can't go back to the first and second floors. I mean, I mean, you cleared them already, right? Hold on a second, Kai's laptop is down there. Who cares? We'll just confiscate that thing. No way. Oh, I skipped that by accident. That laptop's the last thing I want to let you guys take. Well, like you're gonna... Sheesh. Kaiji? Thank you, Tara wants to find the truth about Kai. About Kai? What a troublesome guy, leaving mystery after mystery. I wonder if Kai was a good person after all. Good person is one of the most vague descriptions I have known. Some aspects suggested it. His anger for the victims, the resistance against the kidnappers. It's not like people are binary. It's like, you are a good person or you're a bad person. I would argue that everybody's a bad person. Was Kai acting for good or for evil? Just whose side was he on? And we ended up making Kai a victim without knowing anything about him. But we can make inferences. Inferences? Friend or foe, let's consider the possibilities. First, Kai confessed to having some contact with the kidnappers. So one possibility is that Kai was with the baddies. Like a director of the death game, for instance. Yet Kai drew the sage card and died. In his last moments, he said he entrusted me his hopes. I can't imagine him as an enemy. Incidentally, Sarah, you really didn't have any acquaintance with Kai? No. Huh? Then how about this one? Something like Kai betrayed the kidnappers, and he was executed as an example? He did sock Miley, after all. Hmm, it's possible he earned their wrath, but maybe that's not it. Then there's the next possibility. I mean, they have to that would rely on the other characters voting for him, 
Which they can manipulate pretty strongly, but can't, like, pin. I was on our side, but had some sort of communication with the kidnappers. Though in the same situation as all of us, you did dealings of or missions in the shadows. Missions like what? You remember the first trial everyone took, right? Yes, that game where I was cut, tied to a bed and we had to find the key. It wasn't the same for everybody. Didn't Kutaro say so? Uh, yes, for Kutaro, the trial was just to carry the box with Wily's head. Oh, is that what you mean by missions? Yep, in short, Kai might have also been entrusted with a different mission. Like, ensnare the other participants. No way. In other words, he was being manipulated like a disposable pawn. There's one more. Very slight possibility, but one your friendly policeman like to hope for. Eh? The possibility of got an ally on the side of the kidnappers. And they give you the silhouette of Sara's dad, who's not actually his, her dad. In other words, there's a traitor among them trying to destroy the death game from the inside. That person was in contact with Kai and had him assist with the plan. Well, Sara, that's not out of the... I think that's out of the question? Yes, because you just made it too overt. Rules it out instantly. One of the kidnappers is our ally. It's possible, but in a way it's not like they want to kill the... get rid of the death game. They're like, it's... They want to use the death game in a way that you're not expecting it to be used. You're not even thinking about why it's being done in the first place. I have no proof that could fully deny it, but looks like you can't wrap your head around it. There are clearly some illogical aspects, so, well, all that's just my hope, anyhow. Could be interesting if Miley was related to this, though. Ahaha. <laughs> Aiji? I was just thinking, has there been a similar case? We're doing the, the past story thing now. There hasn't been a past case similar to this death game, has there? There has. And I just so happened to be in it. What? It was decades ago, apparently, but I've read the files. There was a battle for influence between major crime rings. At the time, the police were putting their, putting their all into exterminating these organizations. Those living in the shadows had it pretty rough, so crime rings started laying waste to their own. But if you're just going to mutually destroy each other, it's better to join hands, they thought. So they executed a plan to unify the crime rings into one monolith, in the ways of violence they're so adept at. Don't tell me that was... Yes, a death game. A mutual, mutual slaughter with rules. Scary stuff. The representatives had a grand battle and only one person survived. The survival reigned at the top of the criminal society, thinking... Think it was called the Hades Incident. Hades Incident. Shot to the top of the criminal underworld, hence the Hades incident. But ultimately, the organization collapsed afterwards. Justice always prevails. The police do their job sometimes, right? How relevant is it to this? Not very, I think, since the organization collapsed and all. Besides, Sar, you got any connections to the criminal underworld? You can't be... I mean... She probably does, and just doesn't know it. Of course not, right? It's not good to go tying anything to everything together- tying anything and everything together, Sarah. But this is like a mystery game, and so everything does tie to everything. Just because that's how the genre works. So, yeah... Sorry, Raiji. Or it's Kai. Have I been have I been saying Raiji the entire time? Like that's an R, not a K. That must have weirded a lot of people out. <laughs> Sorry, Kaiji, but that's how it works. More importantly, we better get moving. Ranger was mentioning that the rest of the attractions have opened up all around here. Is that so? 
Think it'll be good to look for him? Tell me if I can help out with something. This policeman will be your partner, Sara. The attractions. I'll go look around. Ain't gonna let a ranger do what he pleases. So I've done the arm wrestling, which was like the strength game from Anog 2. Apparently it's this, I guess a game trope where strength is always a matter of timing. Now let's try this one. Oh, now's not the time for attractions. So, I, I worried you, huh? Kana explained it to me. It's just one shock after another. I couldn't blame anyone for being paralyzed. Uh, Sara, it looks like attractions have appeared in a few places. Yeah, so I heard. It looks like you can go to three more attractions from here, in fact. Well, look behind you. He's right, there are paths on the opposite side. Discovered three death attractions. You can select attractions via the move menu. I wonder, maybe some locations opened up other than the attractions. Let's search a little longer, Kana. Okay. Forgot what those do. Hmm, what is it, Sarchitone? Alice. I take it you have business with the attractions beyond here. I thought so. Attractions appear here. What do you think? Notice. What you didn't know what you didn't notice? So my observational skill is superior. Over there, no, you were just in this room first. That was scary. You were just in the room first. Over there and there and here. Discover three death attractions. Challenge them if you're up to it. And tell me if you seek my observational skills. So that's all the attractions that opened? It might be about time to continue on with clearing attractions. Even if it's a fake outside, it feels nice, meow. Yeah, there's no need to be afraid. Right, I'm not afraid at all. So what did you want to talk about? Oh, uh, well, I wanted to know um, who you've traded tokens with. Alice, he's doing his best to collect Reco's tokens. From people other than Reco. Okay, can we talk to Reco? Nope. Oh, fine. Okay. Let's do attractions then. A game of memorizing your opponent's dance and repeating the proper moves. Defeat the three dolls to win. Okay. I'm really bad at this usually. Select partner. I 
As Reko, you memorize the back half of the moves. Touching her, arco uh, touching her icon makes you remember all of them. Difficulty normal. My strong suit, you're in good hands, Sara. Okay, I don't know how to use this power up, but whatever. This is going to be big defeat for me, I can tell. <laughs> we'll start with me. Have fun out there. They're gonna give me a you're gonna prompt me with like directions. Memory dance rules. Remember the order of the moves your opponent does and repeat them back. What are the controls though? The moves are up, down, right, left, and body. Body is done by touching the character's body. Okay. So, does WASD work? Some characters may remember the moves for you. Remember moves, remember moves are displayed at the bottom. Touching your ally's icon will give you advice and the like, so good luck. Oh. Okay. that body? Okay. Um, I wasn't even paying attention. I, that was, I don't even know. What? I can't do this. Body up, body left, right, down, right. Body up, body left, up, down, right. Yeah, uh. Right now, I have to click through a bunch of stuff again.
This is why you save your game, people, and don't be like me. I didn't know you actually got a game over at the end of the Death Attractions. Okay. Plenty of files. Just save. Okay. Now that we've saved, now we're going to play this game. As record, you memorize the back half of the moves. Touching your icon makes you remember all of them. Okay. Pretty sure I had a way to use that power up. Yeah, I'm, I'm notoriously very bad at this kind of game. Down, body, left. Okay. Okay, cancel. Down, body, left. Left, right, left, right. Body. Right, left, right, left, body, right. Okay. Oops. Okay.
up, down. Okay. Okay. Down, right, down, right. Down, right. Okay. Then down, right, down, up, down. Well, that was correct. I mean... Body, up body, down body, down body. Up body, up body, down body. Down body, left body, right. I messed up. I'm done. Yep, I died. It's left body, left body, down body, up body. Okay, try this again. <laughs>
Oh. She's been paying attention to the last two. So if it goes around, this thing likes to go in circles. Nope. Okay. Left up, body down. Okay. Left up. There you go. Body down. Body right down. Up, upright, down, upright, down, left. Okay. That's number five. Hope it's up. Okay, it was right. Right body, down body, right body. Down body, okay. Right, body, down, body, right, body. Okay, then down, body, up, body, down. Up, body, up, body, up, body, down, body. Right, body, left, okay. Up, body, up, body, up, Body. Okay. Down. Body. Right. Body. Left. I hate that. I'm just so predisposed to be bad at those kinds of games. I mean, you know, it said it was very hard, but I just not good at that John that type of game in general. Piece of cake, huh, Sara? Here, the clear chips. Half and half. Obtain two clear chips. I'm gonna overwrite this save. Okay. So I want to trade 20 tokens between you, me, and now. Discuss. Here, that's the ticket. So how are we going to do this trade? You see, I decided with Rekka, we'd, we'd trade 20 tokens each. But you know, gotta cross the shaky bridge together. For instance, we could pass 20 tokens like this to Sarah or now, or pass them the other way. This way we won't need to have extra trade partners in the future, see? So they're daring to trade them like this instead of an equal share. Sarah, can you choose whichever direction you like? Yep, and if you don't want to trade, we'll do it ourselves, so don't worry about that. I'd like to receive tokens from those who want to amass them. I told Alice I would help him to collect Reko's tokens, but what should I give to, what should I, who should I give to, and what should I receive from? I still want to do this one. I'll give my tokens to now. Rocco, please give me yours. Got it. Don't lose them, okay? Well, that's it for negotiations. I was doing that to advance the plot. Oof! It hurts! Ow! What's wrong, Jin? The two of us went and did an attraction, but I couldn't quite protect him. Big Cesar, I'm okay. I mean, just a scratch. Oof. But you're bleeding. I can't see on your sprite. I can lick it better. Oof. Would be nice to have someone to care for wounds. Uh. Would you like me to go to the medical office? Would you like to go to the medical office? What do you want? Scram. Woof. But I wouldn't be good. Be. But it wouldn't be good if the wounds. The wound was left to fester. I've got no right to. You've got no right to be worrying over me, melon soda lady. Medical treatment for participants is just part of my job, you see. Can't exactly believe you that easily. Are you willing to take a vow, Sophelin? I vow that I will cause him no harm. I won't I won't go back on my word. 
Mm. Can't trust her. Woof! It'd be ma I'd be mad if she remodeled my body into some weird superhuman. But if it were super, you would really be mad? Hey, that sounds kind of cool. You do it if you want it that much. Meow. I won't force it upon you, but I definitely do think you should you should get treatment. Yes, make him disappear for the rest of the chapter. Yeah, if she's about to do something bad, Kaiji and I will protect you. Sounds good to me. <laughs> Thank you very much. Please follow me this way. This is the medical office. What's this place? No, oh, does it lead outside? Woo! Ah, uh, no, everything you see is as outside is an image protected onto this glass cabinet. An image? Yes, currently we're, we're displaying a soothing tropical scene. How do you like it? Uh, you're right, it does feel nice. Nice like the AC is tuned just right for it, too. I, I can't read these right for some reason right now. How observant. I actually manage this room myself. It serves as a laboratory as well. Uh, so can we heal Jin? Uh, yes, the medical supplies are over here. Sophilin is looking my way. Please take it easy. Taiji is tending to Jin's wound. It's lighter than I thought. Does it hurt Jin? It doesn't, but I want to have Big Sarah heal it for me. Well now, it got me in a sore spot. A wound like this should be fine, just being washed in water and bandaged. Oh, I have a solve that sp that speeds up cellular repair, so if you use that as well, it'll, it will more quickly... Sure, that's not da sure that's not dangerous? Understood, please look at this. Softling cut her own hand, making it bleed. How'd you use it like so on the bleeding area? See, it isn't dangerous, is it? Proving it with your own body, huh? Got it. <laughs> yeah, these are not really dolls, I presume. Suffling as we. Mr. Policeman, what's up? Is it okay to give Big Sisara this meow? No, better not give her that. I wonder what they're talking about. Uh, do you have something for me? No, nah, it's nothing. Boof! Hmm, well, that's pretty suspicious. Tell me that, Jin. No, I can't. Boof! Come on, please. His hand was... It's... The thing Big Bro Joe had. Oops. Well, my hallucinations are going up to 60. No, but they're going up to, to 70. Okay. Jin, you did well. Is it okay if I take this? You're glad, meow? Yeah. This is precious to me. Thank you, Jin. Thank goodness, meow. <laughs> no help in it, I guess. Uh, what was that all of a sudden? Hallucination? Gotta ignore it. Well, I've traded Jin, so let's leave. Right. If you get hurt, please come back again. Got it. We'll be careful. Let's go, you two. Okay, my hallucination's up to like 70 or something. 60, maybe? Reko's glancing at me to call me over. I wonder what it is. It's at 70. Yeah, okay, great. Clear chips, three. Kutaro, 20, Reko, okay. Sorry, can you come with me for a sec? What is it? I found a weird place. Want to show you before telling everyone. A weird place? Come on, follow me. What is this place? Told you, weird, huh? It's a door to the next main game. The most suspicious part of 
is those stairs. There's a vending machine at the top. A vending machine? The suspicious vending machine sits at the top of the stairs. There aren't any items displayed inside. And no prizes shown either. Hmm, the power's on. Vending machine with no clear merch or prizes. The bill acceptor slot is plugged up. But it looks like you can put in coins. Ah, like tokens? What should we do, put in some tokens? Hold on a second, let's not. It might be a trap, just touching it could be bad. Sure, but like, before the others come in and get all curious, don't do it, Reko. In the end, somebody's gotta investigate it. Reko swiftly inserted a token. Nothing's happening. Maybe one token isn't enough. Um, seeing as there's this number above it, maybe you have to insert 200 tokens? Huh, who's gonna earn that money? You better be one taste. That better be one tasty soda. Maybe there's no need to worry about it. Good point. 200 is just unreasonable. No problem ignoring it, right? Well, ain't that a relief? Let's ditch this creepy place. Oh, Reko? I took the token she inserted from the return slot and gave it back to Reko. Hey, thanks. Now let's move, Sara. Right. Maybe we can come back if we solve the mystery. Besides, it's about time I do an attraction. Cool. How strange, it's even night outside these windows. Getting that wound healed made me hungry. Should I ask for stuffed peppers? I hate peppers. No. Tastes like wood. Not the worst thing in the world, though. Getting that wound healed made me hungry. Chat, chat, meow, woof, or something. Should I ask for stuff? Okay. Hey, let's get out of here. <laughs> uh, ruined corridor. There's wood fragments here, too. I wonder if the weapon Sao got hit with was taken from here. Hey, can we rest a little? We hardly get any exploring done if we keep resting so much. This hallway, complicated as a maze. Okay. Time to save. Saving 17. Now that I've saved, let's do one of these charge card battle. Clear chips rewarded two stars, difficulty normal. Okay. A card game where you battle opponents by selecting three cards at a time. Defeat the three dolls to win. Jin. Jin Ibushi. As Sar, Jin sometimes cheers to recover health. He also recover health if you touch his icon. It's, it's scary, but I'll try. Woo! I'm gonna protect Big Sisara. No. We'll start with me. Good luck, Big Sisara. I'm rooting for you. Woo! Charge card battle rules. Select a set of three cards to do battle with from among, among four types. Charge charges one energy. Beam expels one energy to attack. Special expends three energy for a strong attack. Block completely blocks attack. If they pick charge and you pick beam, it's a hit. But if you pick charge in order to attack, but you need to charge in order to attack, that's the gist of the game. But you always pick charge first, right? Because then you knew they couldn't hit first, but whatever. 
Note that in the case of a beam versus special, special pierces through and wins. Okay. Touching your ally's icon will give you advice and the like, so good luck. We have to start with charge. Fight with this. You have one energy? Okay. Okay, we have to charge first, then we block second, then we block third. Try. Okay, we're gonna beam at the end. So charge, block, beam. Okay. Charge, block, block, as usual. Block, charge. Block. Charge, special, block. Charge, theme, charge. Okay, same thing again. Charge, beam, charge. Charge, special, charge.
Okay. Oh, oops. Retry. Beam. Charge. Beam. It was easy. Time consuming, but easy. Woohoo, meow, big Cesaro, you're the ultimate team. We're the ultimate team. Boof. Let's share these stars, too. One for the big Cesaro, one for me. Obtained one clear chip. Someone want to trade? How about 20? All right, at least hear me out here. Sorry, are you collecting tokens? Tokens? I'm collecting them. That speeds things up, because I am too. Sure, it's kind of like I'm doing just what Ranger and them are telling us to. But honestly, I'm curious about the escape tickets. Escape ticket? Yeah, it wasn't anything like that at the prize exchange, though. Ranger just said there was one. That got me thinking, maybe if I find out if I collected a lot of tokens. So that's why you're collecting them? That's what 200 tokens are for? Sure am. If I get an escape ticket and get brought to the exit, then maybe I can start up an uprising and get every one of you out of here. Of course, I doubt it'll be as easy as all that. I see. Your tower just went and told me instead of trying to keep it a secret. But my worry is if he does get an escape ticket, whether he'll actually consider the rest of us. Shutaro seems to be to believe in fair play, but that in itself seems like a reason to question how he'll use a right to he a right he earned fairly. Was a master Sara? Nothing. So how it sound? Just twenty tokens when I trade? Yeah. Right. Let's trade again if you feel like it. That's it for negotiations. And we keep going. Hmm. There's some commotion going on outside. What could have happened this late at night? Big Cesar, it's terrible. Meow. What is it, Jin? The old guy was killed. Woof. Huh? Come to the monitoring room. Oh, the monitor was broken. What is this? The old guy, he's... Who would do something so cruel? No good, seems the computer in front is just for booting it up. The AI is stored on the monitor itself. Mishima can't be booted up anymore. Won't let this get, well, I won't let them get away with this. So you did this, did you? Maybe Rao, maybe... Yeah, maybe Rao did it. What? You're wrong, I would never do such a thing. Um... Kana was with him the whole time, it wasn't so. Always with him, this late into the night? It's Kana's job to watch him, so we slept in the same room. What? I was worried because she wouldn't let me leave, though it ended up giving me an alibi, huh? It wasn't so? I'm beat, never run into a case with such an unclear motive behind the crime. Who was the first to discover this? That would be my... This policeman here. It was you, Kaiji? What was the situation? Oh, uh, well, I couldn't get to sleep, so I thought I'd have a chat with Mishima. When I came in, well, it looked just like this. Is that true? Yep. It's a shame, really is. What's this? 
Why do I get the sense like Kaiji is telling a bare-faced lie? Um... Has something happened? Why I don't come in? Woof. Huh? Professor? Please don't look for the culprit. What do you mean by that? Please let me be alone for a little. No clues around that I can see. Now, no bits of wood on the ground like when the other monitor got broken. Woof. Nope, nothing. So the evidence was cleaned up this time. This is one nonsensical incident. Would love to solve it right away, but we need rest. Let's do a detailed investigation tomorrow. I think Reko and Kutaro can wait till tomorrow, too. Mr. Policeman, you gotta find the culprit. No. Right. Oh, it's just, it's just a machine. We'll find out who it was, for now's sake especially. Okay, let's do this. Yep, I don't know. Hmm? Looks like Kaiji's questioning her about the incident yesterday. Can't talk to the old guy anymore. Woof. Got nothing else to say. Okie dokie, I'll trust you. Oh, sorry, need something from me? Uh... Or anything? Nope, don't know a thing. It's a real pickle. Seems Kutaro doesn't know either. I'll keep up the investigation. See ya. Phew, he's gone. Sorry, I've got something for you. Would you come with me for a sec? Eh. I found something curious here. Something curious? It's hard to see in the dark, but check out that wall. There's a mysterious switch on the wall. Notice the switch there? What is this for? Well, it's for playing video games. Do know, but there's an interesting note here. Doggone Ralpa just came out for it. No. <laughs> is that what's... <laughs> Above the switch is, are, the wor is the, are the words bonus attraction. Bonus attraction? I should have sa have save... Push it. I'll push it. What? You just went and pushed it, Sara? Yep. I did push it. It's loud sound something moved and I didn't save my game. Sara, door opened. Is that... It's a piece of paper on the door. It read. Room of lies. Reward six. Don't be fooled. If entangled by lies, you'll die. Warning, the bonus will close once someone clears it. Room of lies. It's a tenth attraction. What's going on here? Shouldn't there be nine attractions? No, it isn't it nine hours, nine persons, nine doors? Not nine hours, nine persons, ten doors? <laughs> yes, we heard that, but... And six clear chips? It's awfully suspicious, isn't it? Hey, sorry, did you check all nine attractions? Hmm. Specifically, how many clear chips you get from each attraction? Out of the nine attractions, Seven give two, one gives three, and one gives four. Okay. Right. And all the attractions gotta be done in pairs. All right. You notice yet? There's nine of us. That's an odd number. A person can't re-enter attraction once they've already cleared it. So each attraction will always end up with one person who can't do it. Even if everyone can, who, who can form a pair goes around to every attraction, the number of clear chips we get is 84. And for nine of us to win requires 90. So we're short six. At least one person will die from not having enough. 
six, then if we beat this bonus attraction, it gives us exactly enough. Ain't no logic in avoiding this place, Sara. If we had discovered this attraction, someone would have died. Everyone would have. Now it's just who does it. Who? Of course, I'll do it. Reko. And who to pair up with? Well, Sao can't be trusted. Jin, Kana, and Nao don't want to put him in danger. Kutaro probably needs compensa compensation to convince. The guy's a realist. What about Kaiji? No offense, Sara, but I can't trust that guy. He's hiding something. So it's Alice, doesn't it? Nothing could be more awkward, but I guess that's what I gotta do. Incidentally, am I not an option? You can't do that, Sara. You're overworking yourself. You saved us again and again, and I'm supposed to be older. I'm pathetic. I want to be equals with you, Sara. It won't satisfy me to just keep getting saved. Equals? Lives are on the line. You should go with the person you trust most, Reko. I should do the same thing. You don't have to be modest. Got it. Then nuts to modesty. Sara, can you be my partner? Of course. I'm in your debt, because really I couldn't imagine anyone but you. Let's beat this and come out safe, partner. Grabbed Reko's outstretched hand and gave her a firm handshake. Then a liquid trailed onto my hand, through a gap in Reko's glove. It was blood. That was when I finally noticed. Reko had scratches and bruises in inconspicuous places over her body. She had been pushing herself. No doubt she challenged the attractions to earn clear chips for the powerless of us, like Jin and Nao. And surely there are more wounds on the thin hands within those gloves. Reko? What's up, Sara? Forget it, let's go. Save! 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 Okay. Let's go. This is the Room of Lies. Pretty dark, you there, Sarah? Yes, let's look around carefully. There's a table in the center of the room. Is it okay to approach? What else can I do? I approach and examine the top of the table. These are the clear chips. On the right side is a rope. On top of the plate with the rope-like object on it, there was also a note. This is the web of happiness. In the final attraction, it may just save your lives. The web of happiness? That's astoundingly suspicious. Is it safe to touch? Take the items. Rekka, let's take the items on the table. Wait, in that case, let's do it together. Okay, well... Reko, you take the clear chips. Got it. Okay. I took the web of happiness. Huh? Suddenly the lights went out. Reko screamed loudly. Reko? Sarah, run away. Reko? Reko? What's happening? I reached for Reko's hand at once and grabbed it. Let's run to the exit, Reko. Pant pant. Are you alright? Reko's glove. Reko? She's still in the room of lies. Door is firmly shut. No. I need to bring somebody we need to open this door. Eek! 
What? <laughs> pet, pet. Huh? Are you okay, Reko? Uh, yeah, I wasn't scared. Something the matter, Sar? Uh, as long as you're okay. Relax, I didn't drop the clear chips. Sure enough, she has all six. I got a cold sweat when it went pitch black. Don't you tell anybody I was freaking out. I wonder if she doesn't like the dark. But I wonder what that was, you know, that... What was the lie part? Hmm. Are these clear chips the lie? Maybe they're fakes or something. You seriously they look real to me, though. Hmm, what are we going to do with these dubious clear chips? I was thinking I gave them to somebody who was having trouble collecting them, but... Sorry, you need one? Huh? Look, I get being wary, but you've got a right to have some. Should I accept these suspicious clear chip? Accept. We both risked our life and limb for these. I'll take one. Obtain one clear chip. There you go. Hmm, Reko's hand. Wait, is this glove not yours, Reko? Oh, what's that? Reko is already wearing gloves on both hands. Yeah, that's mine. Why, you've got it, Sara. When I pulled your hand earlier, I... I'm pretty sure no one, nobody pulled my hand. What, then what's this glove? It must have been one of my spare gloves. You have spares, really? Yeah, our ranger put full changes of clothes in our rooms, remember? Though I don't remember bringing this. I gave Rekko a glove back. Well, thanks anyhow. We should get going, Sara. Rekko just gets replaced with a clone. The Room of Lies. Just, just, what was it? And this web of happiness, what could it be? No use in worrying about it, I guess. Maybe it's about time to do an attraction. I wonder if Kaiji found the culprit. Well, uh, don't have many theories besides... That's pretty scary. <laughs> Can't talk to the old guy anymore, woof. So I finished the ones in the ruined corridor, let's go to the relaxation room. Spirit Shutter. Participants to clear ch Okay, this is a lame one. Click get blue spirits and when ghosts appear, click the camera shutter to repel them. Gather enough souls and you win. Cancel. Flice water. Uh, this one's lame. Okay. Quick draw. Cancel. Um. Well, I guess we better we better do these um conversations first. Kaiji is talking to Alice. What's that? Understand buying the personal info is the only way. What are you chatting about? Uh, sorry, she don't. Just doing a little questioning feels like I'm doing my day job, huh? No, not especially. Ah, uh, too bad. What was that? I thought I overheard something totally unrelated to the monitor incident. Correct. Alice is all about that personal info. Awful, isn't it? I know of a character who's good at this. Oh, here we go. I want one of I want the hard one. Stay within the bounds. 
of the areas produced by your opponents. Defeat the three dolls to win. As Alice, you get one extra health. Okay. Sarah Shadow, and this attraction is three stars. Naturally, I will take two. You won't mind, will you? I forgot to save. I don't know what's a good mouse DPI for this. Too much or too little would be a problem. Okay. Touching your allies icon will give you advice and like, so good luck. Oh, I see at this spam. <sighs> this is what happens, you forget to save your game. Things get all intense. It's gonna go faster this time. Yep. And this is where it kills me. <laughs> okay. Again, don't know what DPI is good for this. Let's just go with like my my favorite DPI, which I use which I use most often here. I'm gonna get wrecked so badly. I thought this, I thought that would be harder. Okay, now it gets hard. I guess this is the same doll. I guess I'm only the second doll so far. Great. Okay, yeah, that was only the second doll. Third doll. Now it's gonna get all confusing on me, isn't it? Okay, now I'm gonna be able to hard. Well, see what it does to me.
No. Now does it get hard? <laughs> this looks ominous. Oh, this is it for me. Time to trade off. Take a break, Sarah. Okay. Three more lives. Spam, 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 spam. Get done. The quicker it gets done, the less spamming I have to do. Save your game so that doesn't happen to you. Yes, piece of cake, Sara. Sorry to be selfish, but I'm taking two clear chips. To make up for, I'll give you 30 tokens. Obtain 30 Reco Me tokens. Obtain one clear chip. With that, this attraction is done. Negotiation. Yep, let's talk to this guy. Sara Shadon, the promised time is at hand. Let's hurry to the prize exchange. Collect Rico's tokens and trade for her treasure. It's time to ex execute the plan. Oof, did you in fact collect Rico's tokens? So, hmm, why? So you actually brought them. Well done, Sarah Shidone. I'll praise you for that. Hmm. Give the tokens. Here's the tokens. I received them. Now let us go to the prize exchange. Alright, I'll buy it. Are you ready? Yes. Oh, my stomach hurts. He's been like this for five minutes now. What should I do? This is Reko's treasure. You may now take it. Those are the bongos I gave Reko. I knew it. Impossible. You say her, Reko's treasure. Is this worthless present I gave her? I thought there was there was some mistake. Some mistake of yours, Sara Shidon. You seem happy. Sorry for poking fun, but I bet you were hoping for this. You want to repair your relationship with Reko, don't you? I am not a person who asks selfish things. I intend to atone for my crime. For the victim's family and for my own. If only it weren't for this death game. There's not enough time left to do this in the proper order. Just one, just once before I die, I want to apologize to Reko. Sarasi Joan, thank you. I will give her the bongos. Right. And now he will die. I wonder if that's enough. As the one who brought it up, I feel some responsibility to watch over this. Should I go after Alice? Alice and Reko are talking in the lobby. Or not talking. If it's nothing, then I'm out of here. Wait, Reko, aren't these bongos yours? That's why do you... I found them at the prize exchange. I was surprised. I thought you'd long since thrown them out. Yeah, I always thought about tossing them, but I couldn't. But I could never do it, cause of me, right? That day when you sent me that letter telling me you're cutting contact rather than shock, 
I just thought, yeah, I figured. You are a musical demon overflowing with talent. I thought you were quick to forget a, forget your garbage, dead weight brother, living life as it suited you. I told myself that to find relief. To confirm that my actions had no effect on you. But, you couldn't throw away those bongos. They sell these just anywhere. The traces of use and of careful maintenance to conceal that fact. The more I look at them, the more they look like traces of your suffering. Irk. Shut up, what are you getting at? Reko, let me apologize. It made you and your parents suffer for so long. It may sound flimsy, but it's how I really feel. I'm truly sorry, Reko. Would you accept these? Alice offered the bongos, hands trembling. Reko took the bongos, seeming unable to bear it. And threw them to the ground. Huh? Reko? Such a piece. Didn't I tell ya? I was always thinking I'd throw these things out. Don't act like a big brother, Alice. You and me are complete strangers now. You think this scrap will let us reconcile? You haven't realized how you took a person's life? For two and a half years, I never once forgotten about my crime. Then why would I ever interact with you? Interact with? Why would you ever interact with me again? Don't get in my way, murderer. This is awful. I believed they would be able to reconcile. I never seen Reko look so terrifying. And this wasn't a matter for an outsider to speak on. But please wait, Reko. Sara. Don't meddle with the Sara, but... Don't come after me. Why would you do that? It's between me and Alice, but... That's right, I've always kept it in. The resentment I wouldn't let out on him. That's why... Then why did you treasure the bongos until now? I don't know. I just couldn't toss them. Reko? I didn't want you to see this, Sara. I admit I lost my cool, but listen, this is our problem. I didn't do that because I wanted to. Don't look at me anymore. I'm not going to be able to look you in the eye. It hurts. I can't imagine Reko truly hates him. But I couldn't do anything for their relationship. I'll leave. I'm very sorry. I left the hallway disappointed. Hey, Sara. I heard a feeble voice behind me. Do you hate me now? Of course not. No, it's because I like you that I can't turn a blind eye. I see. I trust you too, you know, for real. Hearing Rico's voice on the verge of tears, I couldn't bring myself to turn around. Sara. Hey, what is it? Well, saw off a scare and you just wanted you to come someplace. Come over to the ruined corridor, you hear? And don't keep me waiting. What in the world is it? You're here. Nobody saw you, right? No, where are we going? This here passage. The gap in the rubble here. You can fit through? There's a gap here? Where does it lead? An escape room, probably. <laughs> That's for you to see. Where is this? Well, this is kind of common. A monitor without power. A machine emitting red light. Is this a computer? No good, I couldn't seem to, it doesn't seem to boot up. Huh, you're late. This way, this way. Kaiji? Quiet, try not to lure anyone to this place, just in case. Kutaro finally found it. Found what? Ka's laptop, of course. What? Kutaro produced a laptop computer from behind the rubble. It was unquestionably Kai's laptop, the one we found on the first floor. You found this here? Yeah, sure did. But this laptop should have vanished from the first floor after Kai retrieved it. Why is it here on the third? Beats me, but there's no mistake, this is Ka's laptop. The possibilities I can think of are... Either someone collected this and put it here. Or Kai put it here. 
Hold it, guys. Seek the truth later, alright? Sorry, Kaiji. I called you over so you could break into this laptop. I can't use a computer for beans. <laughs> Investigate what's on it. Let's give it a shot, Sara. Alright. Okay, it's on. Please, give us some good info on anything. Wait a second. We should come up with a plan first for what data to look for. Laptop quickly booted up and displayed a password entry screen. Not good. The battery indicator. What? Shoot, it's still nearly drained. It's still nearly drained. It's okay, I know the password. Sal mentioned it in the main game. The password is Shidoan, my family's name. I entered the password. Password is incorrect. What? The password is wrong? What? You kidding me, what's going on? Why? I changed the password, that's the only explanation. What do we do? The battery's at 4%. Sara, type in something only you would know. Only I? If Kai really had a connection to your family, I bet he'd use a password we couldn't guess. That doesn't really matter. Really narrow it down. I don't know, my family is just normal. There's nothing special to try. Kai, just what are you thinking? Connection to me? Our family's got a hero in the shadows, Sara. Father? I entered another password. Starting up. Welcome. He entered... She entered Kai, right? Whoa, nice work, Sara. Alright. Dad. I just typed in Dad's name. Yep. Oh. Did you know Kai? The battery's on 3%. What do we do? Emails. Let's check the emails Sal talked about. Okay. Email log. Sal suspected Kai after reading those. We need to confirm whether those words are real or all lies. Open Kai sent emails. Okay, these are important. As planned, 17 people have been secured. Just in case, is there no error in the date of the death game? Everything is proceeding smoothly. I feel a deep affection for Miss Sara as well. I will certainly protect her. I am prepared to offer myself up for the Shidoans. So this is a different person than the first email. It's about time. If any harm comes to Sarah Shidoan, I will stand against even you as an enemy. And this is sent to... Who? Miss Sarah... Whoops. Oh no. I accidentally skipped it. No! Fooey! There's no backlog. Yep, exactly what Sal said they were. Okay, then I guess this doesn't matter. And Sal wasn't... Then Sal wasn't lying? Hmm, wait, these emails. We just read them in reverse order, from the newest to the oldest. Right. Sorry, these must be received emails corresponding to these... There must be received emails corresponding to these, too. Right, I'll check. Open Kai's list of received emails. There, sure enough, there were conversations over email. Sort them out, rearrange them in the proper order. I sorted the emails and began reading. This should tell us Kai's actions. Grouped emails 1. Hello, hello! Easter emoji. Did you know Sara's going to be a board game meetup? Sara's going to a board game meetup. Wonder if she's going alone. Papa's worried she might take some, make some bad friends. Miss Sara is looking forward to the games. Surely her friend will also take part. Kai, I never told you, so when did you find out? I swear, about the time I'll have any idea that you're up to this when you're there at home replying from your computer. No. The only time I have any idea what you're up to is when you're there at home replying from your computer. Oh well, keep up the, ground, guard, the guard work. Thanks a million. This insipid message. That's exactly how my dad types. So your pops and Kai were in communication? Guard work, what's that about? Grouped emails too. Kai, you betrayed us, betrayed the organization, betrayed me. It's about time, if any harm comes to Sarah Shidoan, I will stand against even you as an enemy. Unforgivable, it's all come to nothing. Just try and struggle with your puny arms. Hey, th 
the guy in this email, it's not my father. So in the context, maybe one of Kai's parents. And it says Kai betrayed the organization. Organization, Kai, just what were you doing? Group emails three. Hello, hello, feeling kinda in danger lately. Well, okay, it's Sara thereafter. She's being targeted. I'm attached to this house, but I guess I gotta discard it and run. Will you come with Kai? I feel a deep affection for Miss Sara as well. I will certainly protect her. I'm prepared to offer myself up for the Shidoans. Oh, Kai, you really are the greatest hero ever. Thanks a million. Their conversation with my father. Dad knew that something would happen? Discard the house and run. Sara, were you making plans to move soon, say? I didn't hear about that. I didn't hear anything. He basically just ran away that night, right? Settle down, keep reading. Group emails four. Are you the contact? You should know not to use this address. I'll hear the report, but follow the rules from now on. As planned, 17 people have been secured. Just in case, is there no error in the day of the death game? Everything should proceed smoothly. I see, you've done well. On the most futile effort. Thought you could pretend to be my contact to step things, Kai? You're at home right now, away from the Jadoan house, aren't you? I've got a tip for you. The phrase just sent, X people has been secured, is a trigger that sets the plan into motion. You fell for the trap, Kai. Sorry, Shidoan will be captured soon. Thank yous a million. This one is from the day of the kidnapping. What's the big idea? I'm not following it at all. I'll sum it up. Kai was in correspondence with two people. One was Sara's father and the other was one of Kai's parents who belonged to the kidnappers organization. It seems Kai betrayed the organization. He chose instead to protect Sara. And to do that, on the day of the kidnapping, Kai sent a fake email to the organization. Maybe the idea was that it would disrupt the organization letting Sarah escape. But his ruse was fully exposed. He just used, he just got used instead. Because thank he's a million was the sig was sign off used between Kai and Sarah's dad. The emails were going straight through. All their exchanges went to the organization. No way. Then, Kai wasn't a stalker at all. He guarded me in secret to protect me. And the only time Kai left his guard duty was when he sent emails from home. That's one crafty trick. Even after his cover was blown, I'm sure Kai was still trying to warn me. That night, coming home with Joe, that's why he stood in our way. Then I remembered what the stalker had been saying. Don't go home. Battery's gone dead. Couldn't get any info related to escape after all. But still, sure enough, Kyle wasn't a good for nothing villain. Is that information really beneficial? There are still things we could check. If we can just get it charged, we'll boot this laptop back up. Sara? You hold on to it, okay? You hold on, you hold on to it, you, you hold on to it, Kutaro. Me? Yes. For the time for the time being, let not let's not tell everyone else about this. It's a secret weapon just for us three. Make sure you don't spill the beans. Ah gotcha. That's settled then. We should act just the same as yesterday. Yeah, I'll hide the laptop in my bedroom and go do an attraction or something. We should get going too. Yes. We left the rubble filled room. Huh, it's kinda alone. What happened, I wonder? Sara? Kana, you aren't with Sal? He doesn't seem to feel well, so he's sleeping. And it seems Alice is keeping an eye on him. Alice? Yes, it seems he has a kind side, too. Is it kindness, I wonder? Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Guarding him must be tiring. Yeah, I'm a little tired. 
Well, should you rest? Should we rest together? Um, I'd like to, but uh, Sarah, I found something curious while exploring. It was over towards the ruined corridor. It couldn't be that room we found, could it? Sorry, I'd like you to come with me. Got it, let's go together, Kana. Thank you so much. Okay, we've made it to the ruined corridor. This way, it's through a passage in the back. This is a different passage from the rubble. A different passage from the rubble room. Sure is dark, who knew this was here? If we go all the way back, it's even darker. She seems likely to trip. Don't let me... Don't let go of me now, Kana. Of course, sis. Oh, sorry, I mean Sara. Nah, no, I'm fine. It's fine. <laughs> Being with you like this really feels like I'm with my sister. No. We're gonna get... Okay. Don't accidentally make a decision that incre increases my... Whatever you would call it. Hallucinations. Here it is. There's a door right here. It's pitch black. Did you peek inside? No, Kana and Saul both lack the courage to open it. Ah, I'll go in first. If if it's not dangerous, you can follow. Huh, what's this room? Strange, it feels like I've been here before. Because this is the first trial room. Kana, it's okay. Come on in. As I was saying that, I turned around. Hold on, what is this? The first trial room. Yep. Bad memories surface in my mind. The very first step trap I was tested by here. If he hadn't made the proper judgments then, I would have died. But I wonder why. Something feels different here. I'm coming in. Kana? Uh. Uh. This is the room where sister was because of me. Calm down, Kana. I held Kana tight. I firmly restrained her trembling shoulders. Sorry for getting distraught. I'm fine now. Kana, I'll leave the door open. Wait outside the room for me. Okay. This was, this was Kana and her sister's room where they took that same trial. I can't make Kana search it. So they dropped from the third floor. Okay. But it would be easy to accidentally drop again though. There's something on the ground. It's a smartphone. If Kana and I had the exact same trial, this is probably the phone used to play the voice instructions. Did the kidnappers forget to collect it? Since it's here, Kana's sister might have had it. Which means, maybe there's some message left on it. A message from just before her death. I have a bad feeling. I don't want to touch it. I'm scared. But if it's some clue... Check the phone. This will increase my hallucination meter, probably. It didn't have a password on it and unlocked easily. The moment it opened... I went as white as a sheet. You abandoned me, you awful sister. I hate you. Go die. Just die, Kana. Murderer. I'll curse you from hell. This can't be. It's just too much. Kana's sister died loathing her? I can't tell Kana that. Sorry, are you okay? Kana is behind me. What's the matter? It sounded like you, you yelled something. Three steps away. Not good. Hide the phone. Kana, someone's coming. What? I set the phone in my hands under the bed. Is there someone there? Somehow I managed to hide it without Kana noticing. Yeah, sorry. Did I surprise you? I can call for I came to call for you, Kana. So? 
Hmm, quite the dark passage that was. Alice too? Kana Kizuki. Rejoice, shall the three of us trade tokens? Uh, tokens? Yeah, we shouldn't talk in a place like this, so let's head back for now. I understand. Uh, thank you very much, Sara. I was saved by coincidence. Huh, aren't you leaving, Miss Sara? Uh, yes. If I took the phone now, Sal would find out. I'll recover it later. Ahem, uh, must three will do the token trade. Sorry, Shidoan, you should take a hike. Okay. God, as long as they're here, I can't go get the phone. I'll have to come back, come later when there, when there's an opening. Ah, uh, yes, Sara. Well, what is it? Well, I just happened to overhear that youngster Gin talking, but it seems there's a ghost in the medical office. A ghost? I don't know the details, but go take care of it. Sai, are you afraid? Obviously, I can't possibly go do attractions until something is done about it. He tells me that so directly, it's hard to muster the will to refuse. Oh well, I'll make it a priority to do something about the medical office ghost. No, don't do that, because I'll increase my hallucination meter. Well, let me go. Um... I did, I did these, okay. Bobby. Is it tasty again? Coffee's bitter. You're a grown up now. How long has my body been like this? Um, let's try these. Really, is it gonna force me to go to the medical room? No. No, don't do this to me. No. I'm gonna get a game over. Don't go opening doors without asking, please. Sophelin? If you need something, please just let me know and don't go searching around on your own. Understood, I'll tell you the truth. What's in there is a doll. You must have seen them before as well. A doll of Miss Kana, a doll of yourself. Kind of think of it, I do remember using a doll that looked just like me in the mirror. Do you remember now? Yeah. Are they really dolls? Yes, intricate dolls copying the smallest details. One at a time, taking considerable effort. These are dolls that can be mass produced. The more I look at the doll, I felt it might start moving at any moment. It's like Joe really is there. If it pleases you, do you want to borrow it? Don't be ridiculous. Who would want this thing? One of the purposes of these dolls one of the purposes these dolls are made for is as mental relief. A precious person you can no longer meet, you can talk to them or have them beside you. A doll is a doll, I don't need it. But you're distressed, aren't you? Please be honest, Masara, you need salvation. You have regrets. If you desire it, you could have joined hands with Joe and escape together. You gave that up and killed Joe. And you mourn that fact. Stop it. Facing Joe Tazumi, that is your only path toward salvation. That's not stubborn, I see, and just for you, allow me to show you a wonderful function that will make you feel even closer to this doll. Quit it, will you? Is that a little too much interference? Maybe you're not a villain, but you're sure not normal. I apologize, I went too far. I won't speak any more about dolls, however, I may at least offer a suggestion. I have a device for healing mental wounds. 
Please, come here before your hallucinations become so intense as to destroy your mind. That is all. Well, so long. Are you okay? Can't say I'm surprised. I w want to sit down for a bit. Okay. Sara, did you like Joe? He was a close friend. No one else was as foolish, soft-hearted, and cheerful as him. Yeah, I'll bet. He was someone important to you, regardless of liking or love, right? Yes. Come to think of it, you had someone important to you too, right? You said you'd tell me about it if we survived the main game. I did. It was back when your good old policeman was still in grade school. All I had was a single mother. We weren't affluent. And when I went to visit friends, I had to borrow my mom's errand bicycle. The brakes on it were busted, so one day I fell off and the bike went sailing into the river beat without me. The embarrassment of being laughed at by my friend and the pain of losing my mom's dear bicycle got me weeping like nobody's business. And there on the scene was the friendly neighborhood policeman. He leapt into the river and fished out the bike and even spent hours at the police, police box repairing it. Soaking wet and awkwardly cool, he was my hero. So he was the person important to you? He was what made me want to be a policeman. I'll never forget it, it's a precious memory. Since you became a policeman yourself, did you two reunite? Well, there's a lot of different police in the world. Okay, that's the end of the story. You calm down a little. Okay, so eventually he killed him. It just took a while for that part of the, to get to that part of the story. Yes, thank you very much. See ya. You can always depend on Mr. Policeman. At any rate, I've learned the truth about the ghost of the medical office. I want to get moving. I'll continue clearing attractions. Right, now my hallucination level's 90. <laughs> Three attractions in this room. Um, first we'll save. My hallucination level at 90. Um, spirit shutter. Get blue spirits. And when ghosts appear, click the camera shutter to repel them. Gather enough souls and you win. Okay. Um, Kaiji. As Kaiji stored energy will not decrease over time. Partner with Kaiji. Okie dokie, I'll help. We'll start with me. Rules. Touch many blue spirits to collect them. Don't touch the red spirits. When ghosts appear on the screen, quickly press the red shutter button to drive them away. Okay. Touching your allies icon will give you advice. Okay. Oh, we have to click them. Well, that was trivial. Managed to do it. I'm exhausted. You didn't do anything. Here's the clear chips. We'll take you. We'll take one each. Obtain one clear chip. With that, this attraction is done.
We got 50 left. Seven clear chips. Okay, 30, 50. Let's do Sal. Sorry, if it's okay with me, would you trade 30 tokens? Thank you very much, even just for talking to me. You want to trade that badly? Yes, I've hardly traded with anyone. I've got quite a lot left. I thought it would be about time I start trading these. If it's okay with you, I want you to be who I trade with. Really? You need to trade 50 tokens to view personal info. If it's just 30 tokens, there's, there should be no risk for either of us. Besides, if you don't want me looking, Sara, I wouldn't even think of checking it out. She's certainly not making this offer thoughtlessly. Please, don't hold back on me. If you can't do it, just turn me down. It's kind of scary, but I can consider asking someone else. Trade. It's about time I go collect the smartphone Kana's sister left. I absolutely can't let Kana find out about it. Okay. I made it here without being found, now I just have to search. And now you'll find it's not there. I searched everywhere under the bed. The smartphone is, the smartphone is nowhere to be found. What? Where'd it go? Gone, how could it be gone? I knew this would it. What are you looking for? Could it be this phone? Sal? Huh, wonder if I hit the bullseye. You took the phone? Well, yeah. Irk. What's your aim? What do you intend to do with that phone? What should I do indeed? Maybe I'll toss it. Or maybe I'll go show this cruel message to Kana. Sure enough, he saw it. As if I wonder, was that... Was... What... Was that... Was your aim, Mrs. Miss Sara? Eh. Just think about it, would you? Do you think she could write that message, Wilth on Death's door? Huh? I recall there was a time limit on the first trial, wasn't there? Would someone who didn't want to die give up so soon and leave a message? And one with line breaks and capitalization. I mean, there's only one answer here. This message was fabricated. Fabricated? Amazing, huh? This is definitely trying to drive Khan into a corner. Just a solid ball of malice. Some people will do anything to harass. It was you, wasn't it, Miss Sara? What? You're saying I wrote that message? I saw it all unfold. You set that phone in place under the bed. What are you saying? I did not set it in place. I hid it there so Kana wouldn't see it. Hid it, huh? It's obvious that Kana would search this room eventually. The feeling that maybe her sister left something behind would guide her here. A message on a phone she found herself, she'd be taking it head on. A heaping help of despair. And this time, it would be totally destroy her. I wonder if you intended to offer Kana a hand in the depths of despair to make her depend on you? Cut it out already. I can't help but be mystified by your methods of gathering trust. Ever since the main game. I'm not game, I've been wondering. Since the main game? Sal, you were memories. Yep, I lied about losing him. What was I to do? Certainly wouldn't get myself be sing wouldn't let myself get singled out if I wanted to get clear chips. Of course, I didn't expect to trick you, Sara. But as long as I could find just one total sucker, that would be plenty. I'm a fool for even being a little worried. I'm. Well, does it matter? You and I aren't going to get along at this point. When I'm around anyone else, everyone else, I'll act the same as before. Ah ha ha. What Sal thinks doesn't matter. I'm getting that phone back. It'll destroy. I'll destroy it for Kana's sake. You've got a gangsty look on your face. Are these your true colors, Sara? I. I'll attack the moment he's open. What? I went surprisingly well. Sal's resistance was extremely feeble, but there's one thing I didn't expect. What is this? The message is different. 
Give it back. Take advantage of my surprise, he grabbed the phone back. Sal, did you? I won't let you have your way. Wait. Uh, he got me again. How does he keep doing it? Despairing, I put the room beside behind me. Where did Sal go? I can't just ignore him. Ah, oh, Sara. Sara, how are you using the tokens you've gotten? My tokens? I haven't used them. Is that true? I can't think of how to use them either. I've been unsure what I should do. Sure enough, we probably need to buy the prizes to know more about the death game. Should I buy a prize, I wonder? Can I play this? Oh. Too much structure. Even after all this searching, ain't no sign of a way to escape. I don't want to do that twice. Sara. Kutaro? Wait, Kutaro, we're not done talking. The two went walking towards the lobby with an imposing air about them. Kaiji. Not yet. Easy ticket. Well, this sounds like something useless. No, I don't want that. That's a waste of tokens. Okay. I could just save scum. I don't need to, to, to make things easier. Prize victim, video three. Trade tokens for this prize? No. Okay. Taichi and Kutaro, to Kutaro are having a dispute. What's the meaning of this? Why? Talk to me, Kutaro. What is it, you two? Sara, the laptop's been taken. What? Sorry. What do you mean? Who took it? Kana. What? I handed it over to Kana. No charge on it, so I thought it'd be fine. You handed it over? Sal must be pulling the strings. He used Kana to have her strike some kind of deal with Kutaro. That's... You have to have noticed, Kutaro. You knew that, and you still accepted the deal? Why? How could you hand over Kai's dying gift to someone else? I see. Sorry, I'm gonna search for Kana. I'll go too. She went towards the ruined corridor. I don't know what you got into your head what you got into your head, Kutaro, but it seems I've overestimated you. It's too bad. Let's go, Sara. Right. Kana. Could you come over here and talk to us, Kana? There's nothing to talk about, is there? I don't approve of your flirting, Kaiji. Sal, I knew it. Hey, Miss Sara, on a date with Kaiji? I don't think this place is all that exciting. I could say the same to you. Yeah, I guess so. Tingling electricity feels, fills, filled the air. This is far from a friendly mood. 
Well, I'll get it straight to the point. I want the laptop back. You heard him. What do you think, Kana? I can't do that. You heard her give it up, Kaiji. I was the first one to give the laptop anyhow. To find laptop anyhow. Am I obliged to give it back to you? So you don't have the password anyway. Then what's got you so so antsy, Miss Sara? Aren't you afraid? Afraid of me seeing what's on this laptop? I'm very curious just what you could be hiding. And if you're suspecting us, I think you're going to be disappointed. Now let's sit down and check that. Seeing as I did find a charger. What? Now, Kana, give me the laptop. Don't, Kana. Look me in the eye, Kana. Sao, so you promised. If Kana brought the laptop, you would give her that. That. She doesn't mean... Want me to go first, huh? You're not surprisingly cautious, Kana? You're surprisingly cautious, Kana. Yes, as promised, here's the phone. Stop, what are you thinking, Sal? I'll show you the truth. Your sister's help. This in her last moments, I hope something's left on it. The message should be changed, right? Nope, he changed it back. Kana trade the laptop for the phone. She stared, transfixed at the phone screen. Huh. It's still fake, though. Yes, so I did write that. You've got the laptop. I've got the laptop. Got nothing left to say. Whatever. Hold on. You might not, but we sure do. She's sure stubborn, huh? Quit getting into quarrels. We're all in the same situation with collars around our necks. Or else maybe you don't have a collar. Huh? Because I've never seen your neck. Haha. <laughs> Haha. <laughs> wow, you're suspecting me because of that? I've changed my mind. Let's do a trade. A trade? I'll return the laptop if you give me 50 of your tokens. You should surely have most of your own tokens still, Kaiji. You can't lie to me and say you don't have enough. Trade tokens for the laptop? This is our chance, Kaiji. 50 tokens hurts, but you should accept. Are you afraid of someone buying your personal info? Don't get me wrong, if you gave 50 tokens to Miss Sara, that'd do too. Huh? What's the matter? If someone is trustworthy to Miss Sara, even giving 50 tokens should be easy. Kaiji? Are you hesitating? There's no reason to hesitate, Kaiji. Why aren't you talking? Well now, I guess that, that that was mean, Kaiji. I didn't intend to tease you. Here's my apology. Can you see it? Go ahead, get a look. Get a good look. Sure enough, it's the same collar. And now you accept it? This trade is over. Have a nice date. Kaiji? He wouldn't even move. He wouldn't give me his tokens. Sara, I... I'm not bothered. I'm not bothered. Let's forget about it, right? We need to do attractions. Wait, Sara. I got myself away from there. I'm not bothered. Kaiji must have his reasons. There's no need to feel shocked. I need to be strong. Hmm. <laughs> Is it exhaustion? I didn't realize I fell asleep. My pillow was wet. While I was sleeping, I... My tears won't dry up, huh? Need to do the attractions. It's strange. Crying my, yourself asleep lets you forget things. 
I can gain the energy to stand up. Need to continue with attractions. Okay, I did quick draw, right? Well, let me check and see. Oh, okay. No, I haven't. On the signal, quickly select the weapon that gets displayed to attack. Defeat the three dolls to win. So, Reku and now. Let's try now. With her observant eye, she can sense a pr premonition one second before the signal. Start with me. It's already have I already have good luck out there, Sarah. Quick draw rules. A weapon symbol will suddenly appear on the screen. Quickly select that weapon to attack. If you choose late, your opponent will attack first. Choosing wrong will also get you attacked. Okay. So just grab which one. Hard time limit. Wow. Okay. Messed up. <laughs> so why you save your game? <laughs> Where I even am in this. Oh, goodness. Well, I'll stop recording here. I just seriously goofed horribly. So, I'm already back to here. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing at this time. I haven't got Kaiji's clear tote, whatever. Let's see here. Oh.
I'm already back here. Okay. Okay, so I, at least that's the case. This one. Okay, good. I haven't done this one yet. Okay. I did this with Kaiji, right? Or with now? No, I think I did this with Kaiji. I did this. Okay, back there. Thank you. 
Right then, I suddenly stopped recording and then started recording again. Of course, I just spliced the videos together, but that's kind of funny. Okay, let's write this wrong, but we're going to save. Okay. Ah.
Ouch. That was a bit tough. Sorry, no token trades. Can we talk? Cancel. How many tokens you listed my request? Discuss. Thanks. So it happened. Um, while I was been doing attractions and exploring, the new Munch, the new, the Muchan cushion I've all, I'm always holding has gotten dirty. They are my partner. Now, I want you to help. Ooh. Partner, huh? They tend to match expressions. It's good to treat your belongings with care. I want to help, but is Muchan a material that's safe to wash? It's okay. Now, they're made really well, so you can wash them again and again and they won't get ragged. That's one gutsy cushion. But there's no washing machine around. Hand washing would also take water and detergent. Um, shall I wash that cushion? <laughs> Melon soda lady, where'd you even come from? Woof. Yeah, I'm sorry. I just so happen to have detergent in the medical office I use when creating medicine. I'm not handing Muchan over to you guys. Boof. Go off and drink your melon soda. No. Yes, sir. Why are you saying this all of a sudden, Safaland? Uh, all of you are important participants, so I'm told to give you the most hospitality I can. Who tells you that? The floor master. Is Ranger really saying that? Of course, I wouldn't imagine it being cruel. I will return Master Muchan in, the clean, in, in a clean state. I've had my fill of lies from that loner. Meow. Beat it, Mirrorous Melon. Wait, Jin. Safflin, do you vow to absolutely keep that promise? Yes, I vow to make Master Muchan clean with no dissatisfaction to Jin. I see. Big Sasara, are you seriously thinking of handing Muchan over to her? Yeah, why not have her do it? Well then, I will quickly make the clean. Make them clean, yes? If you say so, Big Sasara, I'll believe you. No. Please. Boof. Don't do anything. Mean. No. Yeah, I'll be right back. Yay, they're super clean. Ew. It's true. Even the stains that look like drool are gone. Those, those weren't there to start with. Boof. Thank goodness, Master Muchan is truly sturdy. It's great, huh, Muchan? Uh -huh, somehow I feel like Muchan is happy. Melon soda lady, woof, you did it. Ew. Thank you. If you just quit the death game, I might even be your friend. I think you may have been mistaken. I'm only showing hospitality because you are all participants. It's for your own good that you don't assume we can understand each other. If we're done here, I'll be leaving. The heck, you know, she ticks me off. Well, it's all good, Muchan got cleaned. But well, thanks to you, Big Sis Sara. Here's your 20 tokens as promised. No, oh, all right, that's what, except. I guess we'll call this a challenge, uh, the cleaning fee. Yeah, I knew you'd take it seriously. No. Thanks, Wolf. Right, call me anytime, even if you don't have the tokens. Got it. I'm happy to make him happy. Well, that's it for discussions. Big Sis Sara? What is it, Jin? Big Sis now was at the prize exchange. She seemed really pale. I'm worried. Got it, I'll go take a look. Thanks, Meow. Asara? Uh, now? What's the matter? You've got- we've gone white. I- I bought it. Bought what? A victim video. Huh? I thought it could be a clue to escape. But I was too scared to watch. Please, would you watch it with me? But, um, could you close your eyes? You can close your eyes, just being there and holding my hand would- Oh, and if you could stroke my back and cheer me on like you can do it. 
Can I shut my eyes on such a thing? But I don't see refusing being an option. It could be a video of Joe, that's the problem. But I, hmm, I can't save my game in this, I'll fully, I'll stroke her back tons. Apparently you can view it at the monitor room. Let's go, Sara. Starting it up. Now it's the machine in the front door. Oh. I'll hit play. Please hold my hand. I selected the center monitor and hit the play button. I said I would close my eyes, but sure enough, I'm too curious. I opened my eyes. The screen showed a woman in a dim room, tied up in chains. Stop, please help me. The woman is wearing a suit, no a uniform. Is that a police uniform? I only did my duties. Is she talking to someone? Got anything else to say? Unless I settle the score with you. Afraid I can't move forward. There's no point in doing this. Wait a second. Man the front. He looks just like... Please, please press the switch. I... No! That's enough. I can't watch anymore. The chains around the woman's body tore her apart. But what disturbed me even more was the man in front of the camera. Now, about that man. Man, uh, Irk. Does she not realize? That man we saw from behind. Don't you think it looks like? Sorry, I didn't pay that much attention. I just felt so bad for the woman I didn't notice. No, that's understandable. And I couldn't ask her to watch it again, but I'm sure of it, he looked like Kaiji. What's the meaning of this? Sorry, Sara. Even though I'm the one who bought the video. Sara, you're so strong. Strong? Being told that made me realize how much I'd gotten accustomed to this cruelty. Even such a horrifying fate befalls someone I didn't know wouldn't faze me. My senses are getting numb. Ahaha, <laughs> I guess I've really lost it, haven't I? Sara? Now hug me gently. You haven't lost anything, Sara. Right. In Now's chest, I regained a little composure. In that video, the policewoman and the man in front, it didn't seem like they had no connection. And also that man was Kaiji. There's too much to think about. My head isn't working. I should get some sleep. I need rest. Do not state you wanted to eat stir-fry. I said fried rice. Isn't fried rice too heavy for breakfast? The bitter melon stir-fry is light. Seems like they're getting an early start with some stupid arguments. I don't like Alice. He stated loud and clear. No one wants to taste such bitterness early in the morning. No one. But many people drink coffee in the morning. Oh, please stop fighting. Sarah Sidon, you've caught me at an unsightly time. Well, will you eat this? No. Well, if you'll excuse me, you'll receive a penalty if you don't eat it all. Wait, hey, wait, crying doll, T.S. Do your best. Calm down, Sarah. I don't, I, I, will you have a different look about you from yesterday? Huh? I'll be your conversation partner. In exchange, you'll eat the green parts. What an annoying trait. I decide to indulge Alice for a little bit. To think bitter melon could be so tasty seems my taste buds have matured in the death game. It's probably just knocking it without trying. How about I call Sephirin over to get seconds? Don't get cocky, Sara. After this, you must take on att attractions. Overeating will sow the mind and invite death. He has a point. What a thoughtful topic to bring up. I'm in a good mood now. So how has your relationship with Reko been since then? Nothing for you to worry about. The status quo is maintained. But observing her in these past days, while at first I thought she had changed, her essence has not changed in the least. Reko is Reko the same way I knew. 
You said that Reko was once in the same brand band as you, Alice. Mm. Right. So the reason you disbanded, surely. Yes, it was due to the crime I committed. Look at this. Alice produced a folded piece of paper from within his clothes. A magazine article? One day, a kind, kind warden handed me this. A small article was titled 36 Rao 1818 Breakup. There it is, okay. Samurai Yaiba, that was your band. And the reason it is clearly written as well. It says within one of the members gone. With one of the members gone, the vocalist stated I can't sing this band's songs anymore, and the group disbanded. I had thought Reko was a superhuman with a will of steel. I finally realized she was just human too. I've never regretted something more. This article was my warning. I deeply wounded Reko's heart. And those wounds can't be healed simply by me accepting punishment. But this article, I have no more use for it. Throw it away for me. Huh? It's not the article I need to confront, it's Reko herself. Please. His warning. Obtained banned breakup article. Okay, time to continue with attractions. That will be used in the trial somehow. Cancel. I have to save the game first, as usual. Not mess up. Okay. Uh. Your opponents summon enemies that swarm and attack. Strike them down and defeat three summoners to win. Fauna. As Kana, the number of enemies summoned decreases. Partner with Kana. We'll start with me. Good luck. Insert... Insect Charm will release mini bugs. Touch and defeat all of them in the time limit. Okay. Let's click all the bugs. That was trivial. Uh, was I of use? Now, let's split these clear chips, okay? No, you're of no use, but whatever. <laughs> well, one option. Want to trade tokens? All right, let's talk, Sarah. I'm um, sorry, you got any tokens? Yes. Just 10 tokens is fine. Trade them to me. I'll give you 40. Not a bad deal, right? Eh, that's a good That's a good deal. 
True, that's quite beneficial for me. Sure, it's definitely good terms for you. What's his intention? So no complaints, right, Sarah? Hold on a second, it's definitely just weird. You're imagina imagining things. It's just a regular trade. I wouldn't give you a raw deal, trust me. But, please, Sarah, I'll give you 40 tokens. You just give me 10, will you trade? Kutaro's not acting normal. But this is a good trade for me. I'm getting a bad feeling. Offer tokens. Let's trade, right. Well, I've got places to go. Well, that's it for discussions. Hmm. I'm still caught up in Kutaro's behavior. Ever since the laptop incident, Kutaro's clearly been acting strange. I saw him head towards the long stairs, maybe I should go look. And we'll end here. He said it won't let me save, so... I guess I won't save. Here's the sound of tokens being inserted. Hutaro? Sarah, what's up? What are you doing, Kutaro? Don't worry, you got a bad habit of that. Please, stop, what are you doing? What in the world is that vending machine? Don't get in the way, Sara, I collected 200 tokens. 200 tokens? I can see the number 200 written on the blue above the machine. Just like the prize exchange. Don't tell me, is it the escape ticket? Kutaro, could you be... Are you planning to escape alone? No, that's wrong, Sara. I'm gonna investigate the escape route so we can all lead a revolution together. So all of us can escape. No, that's a lie. You valid the spirit of fair play, Kutaro. If that were really your intent, you would have told me before our trade. But you didn't say anything. Because you wanted to escape alone. What's wrong with that? I ain't done anything unfair. I'm just using a rod I earned fair and square so I can go outside first. And I'm gonna call for help. It's a lot more realistic than rebelling against those who knows how many kidnappers. I got no intention of leaving you guys to die. I ain't gonna trouble you. Please let me go, Sara. That's... Jin is doing his best, a kid much younger than you, Kitaro. And Kana is in the middle school, even so she's desperately holding on. You're not the only one suffering, Kitaro. The kids... They're waiting for me. I ain't never stood on the mound of a first stringer. I gotta prove that even people without parents can have dreams and make them come true. I gotta show that the kids... Show that to the kids at the orphanage. Kutaro? Kutaro's fingers touched the last token. Sorry, I forgot to mention a little something. What is it now? You're not gonna say you didn't expect us to really get to 100 so we can't actually escape. Dumb. Of course you can really escape. It's real deal freedom. You'll be free from the threat of death. But you know, I didn't tell you how we'd handle the ones who were left. This is what you call a solitary victory. Solitary victory? What does that mean? It means everyone except the escapee dies. I didn't hear nothing about this. Uh huh, sorry, Plum forgot about it. You think that'll cut it? I already used all those tokens, how dare you do this? Eh. Uh, yeah, guess it's not very fair, huh? Gotcha. I'll pay him back just for you, all the tokens you used. Great, right? Good for you. You don't have to kill your allies. Huh, what's the matter? Stop now and I'll give you the tokens back, okay? No, don't tell me you're gonna sacrifice them just to save yourself. What? How scary. Kutara, you can't. Stop this foolishness. Real deal freedom. The slang doll is just making it all up. You're being tricked. I'm 
sorry, Sara. Stop, no Futaro. Clunk. Ah. Uh. I hear a clamorous sound, an inorganic mechanical sound, very long endless continuing sound, mixed in with the faint sound of a door opening. Futaro disappears into the light behind that door, gazing at the light of hope mere meters away. My senses come to a halt. Game over. And that's all in this recording session.